Like all things in the car audio world, it seems like it's taken forever to get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, but it's finally here and we can probably thank Apple for the delayed approval. I'm going to show you how to connect to them using Bluetooth, even though ultimately they'll be connected via Wi-Fi. The first step is having a wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto compatible receiver. Just because your receiver does CarPlay or Android Auto doesn't mean it can do them wirelessly. Receivers capable of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto just started rolling out very recently. Some of these receivers include the new W Series Next receivers from Pioneer, like the AVH W4400 Next in this video, or the W6400 Next, or the AVIC W8400 Next. Alpine also has the ILX107, and Kenwood has their new reference series Exelons. However, they only do wireless Android Auto. The second step is connecting to the receiver's Bluetooth. Easy. The receiver will have a mirror cast source, which you don't have to go into, but it does show the Bluetooth name in case for some reason you couldn't figure it out on your own. The final step is pressing and holding down the voice recognition button until a device list comes up. Then simply select your phone, which should be listed. Your phone will ask if you want to use CarPlay with the stereo. Allow it and you're in. You'll still be able to use your phone normally and can keep it unlocked or locked. We tested if there would be an issue after shutting down the receiver and turning it back on, but it had no problems and automatically connected back to wireless CarPlay right away as soon as the receiver booted back up. Then we tested what would happen when you connect the phone to the receiver's USB port when in wireless CarPlay mode to see if there'd be some sort of disruption. First, testing USB port two, which is for Android Auto. The connection was not disrupted. The stereo said incompatible USB, but CarPlay worked fine and it was charging the device. Then we tried USB port one, which is meant for iPhones to connect via USB for CarPlay. There was no disruption in wireless CarPlay. It didn't transfer to the iPod source or even the hardwired CarPlay. However, the iPod source was basically shut down, so you couldn't even go into it anyways. Plus it charged the phone. So all the tests were a success. In terms of wireless Android Auto, at the time of this video in June 2018, the only smartphones capable of performing wireless Android Auto are Google's phones, so the Pixel and Nexus. Hopefully by the end of 2018, other Android manufacturers will have caught up and added it to their phones. And those other phones will have to be updated to 9.0. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and start a conversation. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you hate it, click the dislike button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and thanks for watching.